to the world. Subscribe now to the Hot 97 YouTube channel. It's Ebro in the Morning with Laura Stiles and Rosenberg. Mm. So, I, I found myself feeling some type of way about Kanye's verse on that song. Verses on that song. And I like the song. Glad it's happening for XXX's mom and estate and the doc and the whole thing. Laura, what do you think about Kanye's verse? I mean, he's talking about his how he feels about co-parenting mm -hmm. and picking up the kids and dropping them off. He's feeling like they're borrowed, mm -hmm. calling the nannies. Um, I didn't know who Danny in Nebraska was. I looked it up. It's an FBI agent. Mm -hmm. Wait, you, sorry? You called the nannies Danny Brasco. Oh, yeah. Don, that's, you didn't Donnie know, Brasco. You didn't know who Donnie Brasco was? Well, it's, he's, it, I was she looking never at Genia. I never saw the movie. We just went through a list. You saw every movie ever made. You missed Donnie Brasco. Those were black movies. I saw black movies. I didn't see that one. You missed. Um, let me, Donnie Brasco is a good. If movie. I could replace Johnson Family Vacation. <laughs> hey, Johnson Family Vacation is a great movie. <laughs> but go ahead, Rosenberg. What do you think? And what? And so, what did it have you? So, think about? I mean, it doesn't. It doesn't. I don't feel any type of way. I don't feel any okay. type of way because I feel like this is what this is what happens when people co-parent. Okay, boom. This is regular every Rosenberg. like life. Yeah, I, I don't know enough about the situation. I thought it was interesting how revealing it is about right. how he feels about it i also think the whole time the very things that you you're complaining about doesn't seem like they would ever be helped by you talking about them in this forum mm. okay so i would maybe not make entire songs shani what'd about you that? feel about the verse i need to listen to it again shani's running the, the board history. man yeah i was uh loads yeah. of shot i need to the science on it. So, but from what you heard from those two, it's any, a, any, that he's exposing himself in his verses and kind of like talking personal business about the kids, about how about he basically says like about how he feels about the nanny, how it feels to pick up your kids from the other parent, how it feels that your kids is like not at your house, how it feels you know, and then he talks about back. to bring them back and those feelings, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. You're a parent, you co-parent. Yeah. How does that? Yeah. How does that conversation feel in that song to you? I mean. One that touches home, that's that's a very difficult thing for any man to have to go through. You know what I'm saying? Him exposing his feelings and putting his feelings on out for all of us to judge and examine so that he can lead by example to say, look, you're not alone. It's always a Kanye thing. So mm -hmm. I commend him on that level. Um, but yeah, no, nah, I'm not mad at him putting his, you know, sharing that emotion because... What are you trying to say, Ebro? Sorry, Shani. But Ebro's setting us all up because he has his answer. He right. has a frustration. And, yeah, and Shani no, didn't I, hear the I, verse. I what just honestly, well, but he heard that it was about co-parenting, right, 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 and that, right, he doesn't really yeah. say a lot more than just some co-parenting stuff. There's not more there than just how he feels to co-parent. And I co found my in his heart, in his heart, right, right, right. I found myself feeling like Shani, where I'm, I'm thankful that Kanye West is saying something because right. there's dudes out there that feel like Kanye feels. But I also found myself pissed off. Okay, go ahead. Why, why that? Because Kanye's baby moms is being cool, bro. Your mo the baby moms is being so cool. Right. Is You're it? the one yep. creating all of the noise. Exactly. And, and so for so for me, I'm listening like, my man, yo, there's dudes out here who are really, really trying to be chill. Fighting to see their children. Fighting right. to see their children. Right. You've done considerably less to be on the bad Both. side than oh, you. Oh, and your nanny's got nannies, bro. You don't, you don't, you, when's the last time you had to wash some drawers? When's the last time you had to pick a kid up and sit in traffic for hours or sit outside their whatever I, party while they do their dance recital and you're sitting in the car for three hours? It felt when, like, a ten, like a temper tantrum. Like a, yeah, it's like, yo, bro, you. I is, feel you, but I also am highly irritated because there's dads out here busting their ass mm -hmm. and you're the one acting like the crazy baby moms. And that's why I said I don't feel any way because it's, it's frustrating, especially because of the history of Kanye and he moved to Wyoming. He did move. What are we, what are we saying? At one point, they were begging him to come back. He did move to Wyoming. Well, and it, it also... <laughs> like, he left his <laughs> family. From the outside, from the outside, he did move to from the outside it looked like from the outside, none of us know. That's right. From the outside, and that's the other side. it appeared that she's that Kim for a long time was trying to keep their relationship together. Mm -hmm. That's how it appeared. All Don't I move know to Wyoming. Is... I want to be. And then when it finally, eventually, all blew up after he acted. Let's be honest, crazy for two years, saying insane things publicly, running for president, all of this stuff. Eventually, she's like, like most women who have their ish together. 
you know what? Thank you. I tried. I'm moving on now. And now he's kind of throwing temper tantrums on records. I'm not saying I'm mad at him. Do whatever you're going to do. It's your art form. Right. And it doesn't help that it's like, I think it was a report that uh, the fourth divorce lawyer was like, you know what? I'm done. I can't deal with you. They couldn't, they couldn't handle, they couldn't handle him. Yeah, besides all of that, I hear all of that. But I just want to go back to if you got if you're co-parenting and things mm -hmm. are cool mm -hmm. and you're the one causing the problem is male or female and it's really about the kids. Of course. It's really about the kids. So when I hear that and we know all of the things that you guys just pointed out, it's like, yo, you're in a situation. Y'all got all the money. Y'all got all the support. Y'all got all of the tools. I don't know if I feel bad for you, bro. Because like I know he, people who have zero tools and they're yeah. figuring it out. And it's hard for everybody. So part of me is like, what? Picking up your kids. Like, you don't, You bought a house next door. Like, what are you even talking about? You can. He, he literally bought a house next door. Like, what? What are you talking about? Yo, there's dads and moms that drive out. Yo, my mom used to drive an hour and a half to drop me off so that me and my dad could meet at a neutral location so that she didn't have to be in contact with my dad to then for my dad to go take me for the weekend mm -hmm. every two weeks. I know. I know somebody who had to meet their, 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 um, the mother of their child at a police station. Because that's how toxic what the relationship is. What are you complaining at about? At a police station each time. And I know it's all relative. Yes. Yeah, and I know sad. all of that. I right. get all of that. But I don't know, man, when I heard that verse. And it was also on the heels of you telling me about Mark Wahlberg's daily routine or whatever. I was whatever with rich people. I was just pissed that rich people come. Like, <laughs> what, man? What are you talking about, about, man?